Hello, my name is Aaliyah and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing how to be organized in 2023 using Notion. So I'm going to be taking you on a full tour of my Notion dashboard, walking you through my thought process, showing you how I use each page and how I use it to organize literally every part of my life so that I can be organized and productive. The free template is linked in the description below. I only just started using Notion a couple months ago and I've already seen such a huge difference in my productivity. I really recommend you try it out. I feel like having apps and websites like this is so great because you can clearly see what you need to do and achieve instead of having it all take up mental space in your head. So it's a great way to get it all out. I watched Michelle's video and I used her template but I just changed it to suit my needs and my aesthetic. So I'll link her video in the description as well. So let's get into it. So I'm recording this on my laptop, but there is an app for your phone that you can also use. And I love it as well. They sync up straight away. If you make a change on your computer or show up on your phone and vice versa, it's great when you're on the go or you don't have a laptop. Okay. So this is my dashboard and it's got my success is inevitable at the top. And then we have daily, personal, and life. So in each of these categories is, so for daily, there is schedule, content planner, habit tracker, journal, workouts. And then in personal, there is notes, wish list, budget tracker, recipes, monthly reflection, and dream log. And then for life, there is 2022 goals, income streams, manifestation, and bucket list. And then below that, we just have lots of photos. This is kind of just my like vision board that I like to look at. And that's all for the dashboard. So just letting you know, you can change literally everything on this whole thing. You can change the photos at the bottom on the vision board part. You can change this cover as well and you can change the name. So you can delete this once you've made a duplicate of it. And then you can change these. You can also change the emojis. So just click on it to change the emoji. And you can also do that the same with these ones down here. Just click it and then you can choose from emojis, icons, and also custom. So we're gonna start off in schedule. So just click schedule In schedule. There is a new week, the week that you're in and also a calendar. And so these are toggles, which basically means that you can just click it and then all of this stuff drops down and then you can click it again and it all goes back into that. And that's the same with the calendar. So the calendars are quite helpful because you can just click the plus button and then you just write out whatever you want. So wash here and then it comes up there, but I will delete that. So you just right click and press delete. So that's the calendar and then going back to the week. Here we have just every day of the week and you can write down what you need to do in those days. I find it very helpful and just so much more organized. Okay, and here is the daily tracker and you can write down different things that you want to track throughout the week. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. So down this column is the action and then over here is the day of the week. So you just tick them off once you've done them every day and it just feels really good to take them off. And so you can change these to whatever you want and you can also delete them. So if you wanted to delete them, all you need to do is click these three dots over here and then press delete and it will go away. And also you can press command Z to undo your action. And that's the end of the daily tracker. And then underneath the daily tracker is highlights of the week. So just anything in your week that was a highlight for you. And then below that we have weekly tasks, next week, next month and miscellaneous things. 
and then once that week is finished it says down the bottom what you need to do and this is the archive so in the archive you just put all of your weeks in it and it's a really good place to look back on your weeks and like I said before you can change the covers just press change cover then it will come up with all the things you can do with that you can change the icon so on to content planner now so on the content planner you can obviously change this cover this is just my youtube banner and you can change the emoji again literally for every page um, and then we have a big content calendar here so you can write in all of your ideas for this. So you might not need a content planner, but this is just an extra. You can delete the page if you want. So on this side here, we have social media and it just has all of these social media platforms. And if you just click on it, so you click on this YouTube and it will take you to your YouTube channel. But obviously it won't take you to yours, it will take you to mine so you can change that all you have to do is click edit and then change the link for it next is youtube following so you just click on that one so on youtube following it literally is just so you can track your following and on this side there is the milestones of your subscribers and then you just put in a tick emoji when you've achieved that and the date of it and that's that and honestly it is exactly the same for the other ones TikTok, Pinterest and Instagram and then the next one down is collabs you just write down any collabs you're having in the future and then also any other ideas you want to put on here and below here is the project tracker so on the project tracker it literally just has your content ideas so what your title is and i can go more in depth with this whole page in another video if you want just comment below and then there's also music so just any music that you've used or that you want to use in your videos and that is all for the content planner so next is the habit tracker so this is the habit tracker and all it is is the month that you're in so on the habit tracker all i've got on here is wake up time and sleep time and so it's just a checkbox so you click it when you've done it and then there's workout meditate and skincare skincare has different options for what you've been using and this is also in a toggle so you just click that to put it back into the toggle put it down put it up and then also there's an archive for this one so you can move that into there when you're done that month and then you just click new month and change the name for it so that is the habit tracker next is the journal okay so on the journal it's just journal entries and on here I have a morning entry and it's got the your intentions what you're grateful for affirmations and a daily reflection so you just do it at the end of your day so I've made them templates so all you need to do to make a new one is click the new button and then you can pick if you want a daily reflection or a morning entry so let's say it was a daily reflection you click it and it comes up with all of the prompts on it and then you just fill it out so you could also make your own template just by clicking new template or you could just do empty page and that is all for the journal the next is workouts so in workouts i've just got a couple websites that you can visit to get some ideas of workouts that you can do and i just wrote down my mini workout that i do every morning jokes i don't do it every morning <laughs> And that's all for the workouts page next on personal is notes so notes is just like any other note so you can just click new and just write whatever you want on it and yeah and then after notes is wish list so on the wish list is really just what you want how much it is where it's from and you can write down if you've acquired it or not just by clicking this button yes you have so you can obviously delete this one on here it's just an example and that's all for the wish list page next is the budget tracker so here is an example it is the month 
And once you're finished that month, you can just click new month. And so on here, you just put in your expenses, how much they cost. And then you can put in your income. So what is it from and how much it is. And then your net at the end of the month. So how much you have left over. And yeah, it's a really good page to have. And that is all for the budget tracker. Next is recipes. So on here, there's meals to try and snacks. So when you click on it, it just has ingredients and the instructions. So if you were to add another recipe in, just click new. And then you can click new recipe template here. And then change the name of it. And then write down the ingredients and instructions. So that is all for the recipes. Next is the monthly reflection. So on monthly reflection, it's just the same. It has a toggle with the month on it. And you just click it and it drops down with all of these different questions for you to rate your month and how it went, what you learned. And there's also an archive. So same thing, you can just move it into your archive when you're finished and do a new month. And that is all for the monthly reflection. So next is the dream log. So all you really do on here is just write down your dreams if you remember them or want to remember them. Because sometimes I have dreams that I do not want to remember. And this is just one of the examples of one of my dreams. So you can also add in tags. So mine has great dream on it. There's also running away, something trying to kill me and all of these other options which is cool and you just write down what happened in it and also the date of when you had that dream and that is all for the dream log next we are going into life and starting off with 2022 goals so i actually started doing the 12 week year so you can search that up so i'm gonna do a video on this and go more in depth about this page because there's quite a lot in it but I will just quickly show you guys. Um, so first, just some cute little quotes from Vision to Reality. The key to success is to start before you are ready. I love that one. Um, and then I just wrote down my 12 week goals. So three different goals. And then these are the goals here. So goal one, goal two, goal three. And then underneath those are strategies to achieve those goals and then underneath is my sacrifice or the cost of each goal and then also the benefits of them so underneath that is a goal achievement rewards page and you just click on it and these are the goals and what my reward would be just to kind of motivate me to achieve my goals quicker and so that that and then underneath that is staying on track so strategies to staying on track and then these are the three months and these are obviously toggles as well with each week so i'm not going to go into detail with that i will in a future video but you can just play around with it and then at the bottom is overall wellness so it's just a massive table with just all the areas of your life and the priority of them, your current reality, your vision in one to two years and the skills and habits required and bad habits to break. And then at the bottom of that is key takeaways from this table and then an archive of course. So that is the 2022 goals. Next is income streams. So you can just write down all of the income streams that you have or want to have just to keep a track of them and also what you could improve in them. And so the next one is manifestation. So in this manifestation one, I've just got down the 12 main universal laws, how to manifest things in your life and attracting desired feelings. So yeah, this is optional. You can delete it if you want, just like any other page you can delete. And then the last one is bucket list. So bucket list is, everyone knows what a bucket list is. You can obviously add and delete things from this if you want. And you just tick them off once you've achieved them. 
So that is my Notion dashboard. So go and get this template to help you organize your life so you can be more productive in 2023. So that is how you can use Notion to be more organized so you can be super productive. Honestly, just play around with it and experiment and see what each button does. But let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I am more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I would also really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to join my dream community. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I think that was good, right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! See you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh.